It's a CEO shakeup at Twitter. Oculus VR's consumer headset gets an Xbox controller. And dating app Bumble reaches one million unique conversations started by women. It's Thursday, June 11th, and this is Crunch Report. Woohoo! Big news at the top of Twitter today. The company just announced that CEO Dick Costolo will be stepping down on July 1st, and Twitter co founder and current Square CEO Jack Dorsey will step back in. He used to be CEO until 2008. He'll be interim CEO while the company looks for a permanent solution. Costolo will keep his seat on the board. Twitter's share price spiked about 7% in after hours trading on the news. People are at least interested. Costello is a former stand up comedian and actually tweeted, Welcome back, Jack, following the announcement. He was, of course, referring to Dorsey, who will continue as Square's CEO. Do both companies. They're actually right next to each other on Market Street in San Francisco. It's a bit of a triumphant return, actually. Dorsey was already CEO once. He was forced out. He was replaced by co-founder Evan Williams back in 2008. Although Dorsey became Twitter's executive chairman in 2011 when Costello took the CEO role. It's quite a bit of musical chairs happening. In a statement to investors, Costello wrote, quote, I am tremendously proud of the Twitter team and all that the team has accomplished together during my six years with the company. We have great leaders who work well together and a clear strategy that informs our objectives and priorities. There is no one better than Jack Dorsey to lead Twitter during this transition. Well, Oculus had a pretty exciting press event earlier today, and here's the big news on the consumer front, because you're probably a consumer. Oculus's Rift Consumer Virtual Reality Headset will ship with a wireless Xbox One controller and a small tabletop camera on a stand that watches an array of LED markers on the Rift to track your movements, your head movements. Partnering with Microsoft will help the Rift work natively with Windows 10 and play Xbox One games in the headset. The Rift's black fabric wrapped frame holds two OLED screens and integrated headphones that can be removed if you want. It's also designed to let people wear glasses at the same time and has an adjustable slider that lets you change the distance between the eye lenses if you have a bigger or smaller face. No judgment, some of us just have fat faces, that's the way the world works. The new Rift will be on display at E3 next week. And what's cool, again for consumers, is with the Xbox One controller, you'll be able to play a variety of Oculus games. And Oculus says it'll also invest over $10 million to accelerate development of indie games as well. Rift pre-orders start later this year and ship in the first quarter of 2016. Bumble, which is a dating app founded by employees that used to work for a popular swipe app Tinder, Bumble has announced its female users have started more than one million conversations on the service. And you might say, well, what's the significance of the women part? Well, that's how Bumble differentiates itself from Tinder. Both use that swipe left or swipe right on profile thing to either say no thank you or create a match between two people. But after a match on Bumble, only females can then initiate a conversation. Bumble says that this approach means around 60% of matches result in two people talking. The company won't say how many active users it has, but does say that monthly active users grew by 65% last month and says 55% of its users are male despite the rules. On to the world of watches. But this isn't a story about the Apple Watch. It's not even really a story about smartwatches at all. John Biggs, who is TechCrunch's official watchman, see what I did there, reports today that Watchville, which is an app that aggregates news about watches and is led by Kevin Rose, who is formerly of Dig and Milk and uh, recently Google Ventures, he's done a lot of stuff, is merging with a site called Hodinkee, which features not only watch news, but interviews and coverage of many beautiful, fancy watches. Some of them are extremely expensive as well. Rose will become CEO of Hodinkee, and the merger is led by a $3.6 million venture round with True Ventures, Google Ventures, along with Twitter co-founder Evan Williams, and musician John Mayer, who apparently is a watch aficionado. I didn't know that. Rose says the new money will go towards product improvements. A new iOS app called Free is free, but does something different. It wants to make your social life just a little bit more exciting, to work better by telling you which of your friends are also free to hang out. And it gives you a forum to ask if anyone maybe wants to meet up on a Friday night without making you feel kind of lonely and sad like you should have already had plans. Free lets you announce what your plans are or that you're just flexible to do something fun and includes group chat to organize your congregation. TechCrunch's Josh Constein calls free the green dot online status indicator for your real life availability. 
I love that, it makes perfect sense. Free was co-founded by Danny Trin, formerly of PATH, who's now raised $1.9 million from a handful of seed funds. And free gives you an option to set your status as I'm going out or I'm flexible or I'm busy with more context if you want to add it. And then a push notification that goes to your friends, either in your current city or some different subset, depending on your privacy options that are all customizable. And the idea is to make it a lot more clear when two or more friends are ready and willing to be social, but maybe just don't have anything going on yet and then make it happen. Foursquare, uh, Facebook nearby friends, PlanCast, some other startups have all tried to tackle this somewhat delicate subject before, so it'll be interesting to see if free can change our social behavior enough to stick. And that is the report for today. I'm Sarah Lane. Crunch Report airs Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, right here on TechCrunch.com. We'll see you tomorrow.